Hello everyone and welcome back to another How to Stock Market series. This is a news update on the uh, company Micron Technology, ticker is MU. Today's uh, was an earnings call for this company and it reported that it was a winner. Um, sales and profits estimated to be increased by 10% with this company and the aftermarket trading went up about almost 4, 3% 3 to 4% in that range so it closed at um, closed at 35 I believe 35.50 closing aftermarkets and today it slipped to as low as uh, 3414 so if any of you um, bought in at the 34 range you guys probably picked up a lot of profits from from your trade so good for you guys however um, some of the analysts on the Wall Street Journal states that this uh, company has been overbought in the past uh, 200 market week period and let's see here it has a positive forecast but it's overbought um, predicted to be overbought it's a five week modified moving average of 32.79. The stock is well above its 200 week simple moving average at 23.16, which was last tested during the week of December 16th. So, about a year ago, it was testing in the $20 range. Now it's all the way up more than $10 a share, almost increased by. Um, 15% almost 20, 15 to 20% so their investment strategy is to buy weakness to annual pivot of $29.80 per share which has been the magnuson's the uh, week of March 24th but it crossed during the week of September 1st Given a new high, investors should reduce holdings on strength to uh, monthly risky levels of 39.25. So a lot of analysts are saying that while it has beat the earnings, um, it is still more on the overbought side and the 200 week moving averages and the RSI index up, uh, sh shows that it's over the 70 mark so who knows it may be overbought it may not be can't say for certain on whether it is or isn't currently it's closed at 35.50 so we see a trend line here of closing um, we can see that initially in the previous uh, months and years it's been trading at around the 35 mark and it's consistently held that level so based on this there is a, a very good likelihood that the stock may you know trade within these margins and has about a two to three percent you know likelihood of growth and the price per share of this company um, the highest resistance that this stock has hit was 36.60 so that's when uh, risks should be more risk should be more prioritized and it should be assessed on whether or not it's a good uh, stock to buy into the previous right before earnings call it was trading it was down to like 34 almost 34 14 
trading around there and it increased all the way up here increase of a three percent there's a likelihood that it may uh, play within these margins from 35 to 36 however we can also see a downswing which is more likely to be possible given the fact that the stock has been so on the overbought side and it's been doing well in the previous moving averages over the 200 week period so that's something that should be taken into consideration when um, either investing or trading into the stock as we can see within the year to date it has been um, consistently increasing the share price has been consistently increasing all the way from the lows of 1617 now up to 3660 so if it continues this tread tread line there is a likelihood that this company could keep on uh, going up, up up and up in market value which is a good sign it currently shows no sign of uh, any, anything that should be uh, cautioned for in terms of selling the stock so recently though it's been kind of consolidating at this point here around the 30 the low 30s around the 33 range so that should be something to take into consideration that's been hitting consistent uh, support levels at 26 so it may cons consolidate back to that point however I can see the uh, support levels going forward to be much higher now um, I would say 32 would be a good estimate 32 to 34 And um, just the projection of this company is uh, being becoming more and more profitable, especially with the tech industry also expanding and co constantly innovating their devices and the fact of the reliance of the chipset companies for other companies as well. So I can see a bright, pretty good future going forwards over the five year window however it did take a quite quite a dip and only now it is it coming back to its initial um, uh, initial resistance line uh, in, from 2014 so that's so right now they basically uh, are playing or bouncing back up to their initial resistance levels in the 2015 highs of 36 so right now I, I'm not going to say that it's impossible for it to break through the uh, the highest uh, support levels but it does seem like that that would be a quite a difficult task for this company just um, by analyzing the history of this company and how it's been playing in the market <laughs> however in the past uh, past uh, two years or so it has been consistently upswinging and if it can continue on this trajectory I can see a solid uh, solid uh, business for this company going forward so right now it's too hard to say I do see the likelihood of this of the the stock taking a dip and that may provide potential opportunities for swing trading the stock and yeah so that is my analysis on the earnings winner on MU personally I don't know you guys have to uh, determine for yourself on whether or not it's worth risking your own money for this but yeah
I am not a financial broker. I am not a analyst or any of that sort. I am just a day trader like you guys. And please um, look at my opinion from different angles. And I'm not saying that this is a stock that should be bought into, nor am I saying this is a stock that should be sold if you're holding it. I am just trying to give my um, give out information on the news releases and what other analysts are saying about the stock. So please trade at your own risk and with your own um, mindset of the company that you are investing or trading into. And with that said, I hope this video helped out some of you. And if you liked it, please feel to subscribe, like my video, and leave some comments on future companies, on future videos for companies that you would like me to talk about or go over, on, or just to hear my opinions on it. And yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.